there's no honor in self-immolating yourself when it's not going to do anything to defeat your enemy. He could have made a bigger statement going AWOL. He could have made a bigger statement if he would have went and fought for Hamas. He's not a Buddhist monk. I don't get it. I don't know why. I don't know how anyone can can defend it. I mean, I could see defending it, but celebrating it and then saying, oh, if you don't agree with what he did, that means you're more like a Jew than a Palestinian. That's a false equivalence. That's just, I mean, that's low IQ. That's completely low IQ thinking. That's the kind of thing that liberals, that's the kind of arguments liberals make. It's either one or the other. It's not one or the other. There were tons of other things he could have done. What's going on, guys? Oh, all right. Yeah, I just don't, I don't get that, that that was the only thing he could have done. What are you talking about, Bengal? Yeah, I mean, I don't. What's what's happening, everyone? Yeah, I just don't see. I don't see celebrating it, making fun of it's not honorable. That is not a picture of Bud Dwyer on the wall. Um, making fun of it is not honorable. Why? I mean, I, I just, I, I don't get it. I mean, I, I don't see how it, hey, what's going on, Andy? Andrew? Um, I don't see how it's, um, I don't see how it's honorable. He didn't do it for his countrymen. He didn't do it for white people. He, I mean, he didn't, he, who did he do it for? I tried to, yes, and <laughs> yes, Hermando de la Vega. <laughs> de la Vega. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Oh, I got a lot of people here already. Very cool. Very cool. And how are you? And as I say every week, Rumble still, is Rumble started yet? Oh, no, you're getting ads over here. I mean, I could see dying for your fellow soldiers, but I, I just don't, I don't get that. I mean, how did he hurt Israel? Hey, what's up, what's up, Pompey and Scum? How are you? Oh, that's cool, Vingle. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm live on Rumble, and Rumble is also connected to Entropy. If you want to super chat today, do it over on Entropy or Rumble or um, or Odyssey. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I I, I don't think. I I don't know what he was trying to do. I mean, it would literally be like if a Filipino set himself on fire because like the kids were, boys and girls were chopping off their tits and dicks in the United States. How did, how, how's, how's that help? Or if it was like a Filipino doctor who was going to come here and, um, would be forced to to do that to kids he just sets himself on fire there were there are tons of other things he could do it's just retarded what's up jacqueline was the pod 
Potato Mud asked, was the podcast last week with Mark Weber the first time you've ever talked to him? Um, on the podcast, yes, I've talked to him in person before. Hey, what's up, Fran Francisco? Israel doesn't care if its enemies self-immolate. Yeah, that's, the, that's Francisco over on Entropy makes a great point. Israel doesn't care if its em enemies self-immolate. Do you think that they do you think that they looked at that and they were like, oh man, no. Their enemy is their enemy is not it just killed one of their enemies just killed themselves. Unless you think they're a friend of the United States. It was it it, it was an act of desperation by a mental patient. Or not even a mental patient. I don't even know what what would have caused him to do that. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, good weekend so far. I mean, I mean, it, it's it's. <laughs> I don't know. I look at him and I look at his background, and and when I look at what I want for the what I want for the my polity. I don't want him as part of my polity. I don't want him anywhere near me. I don't want him near anyone that I care about. I don't want a guy like that near anyone in this chat. Pete Budapest says, it's the nature of the modern left. It really is a death cult. I don't say that to be hyperbolic. It's literal. The modern left is suicidal and homicidal. Yeah, I mean, the when you look at the the guy or the, the the girl or whatever who went in and shot up the Christian school in Tennessee, you don't think that they knew they were going to die? You think they thought they were going to fight their way out of it? It's a death cult. Hey, Southern Nordic. How are you? Southern Nordic. I never caught that before. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I just don't get it. Ah, and I forgot to start my recording locally. I'm a professional. <laughs> See what's happening over. Thoughts on Candace Owens? Um, well, I mean, when you look at Candace Owens and you look at this rabbi, that this rabbi Shmuley, I mean, come on, straight out of central casting. This is insane. I mean, this guy looks like, he literally looks like the piece of gum that you dropped on the floor and it rolled around in the cat hair. It, 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 he's gross. And I mean, if that's your enemy, if that's a guy who's like making your enemy, I mean, you are you know you're winning if that's your enemy. I think Candace is doing a good job. I mean, I don't know. I don't, you know, it's... <sighs> it's great i mean whatever it's just it, you know candace is she's not backing down and yeah i remember shmuley from over a decade ago debating christopher hitchens i think wow talk about just a terrible terrible room you'd want to i wouldn't want to be in that room ever oh still got ads on entropy god i stink Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> Rabbi Schmegel. Physiognomists were always right. They just started stroking off to themselves too much and became atheists. Tyler asked, what about the thought crime law being pushed by Nome in, so in South Dakota? I, isn't that a great opportunity for some governor with a set of balls to be able to write law that you can't speak about that like uh, you can't speak about white people being colonizers or something like that i mean how do you how do they even plan on enforcing that it, it's going to have to be completely online right hey what's up steven the ideology he brought into is absurd and suicidal and should 100 percent be mocked to the nth degree thank you kj he is as bad as the mid-century Germans propaganda films about these kinds. Of, I know if you drew if you drew him in the 1930s, you would have been hung at Nuremberg. If you'd have just drawn a picture of him, what he looks like now. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. The best part was the cop pointing her gun at him while he was burning. And that's what makes you think it's all theater, right? Y'all need to find the clip of Hitchens talking about the unique evilness of anti-Semitism. It's explained. <laughs> Is that why is that why he went totally anti um he went anti um Muslim? You're borrowing from my Chuck Schumer super chat on OGC by by saying what? Maybe I did. I I mean I read I read all the super chats and I don't remember exactly, but I'll give you credit, Bolero. What did I say that I uh, lifted from you? We all lift from each other, I think. So, restart. Horrible. Hey, Alman, how you doing? Hey, that's Putin Trudeau. <laughs> that video. Now we don't really know what that video is, and somebody said, um, "Oh, I think that that video is." Uh, is well, and I'm not I'm not mocking the person who said this that that it was Putin's in, interpreter. Uh, I uh, this guy obviously has one of those fake arms the security have now, so that he can have his arm in and on a gun or on whatever. So I don't think that was in, his interpreter. Now we may be misinterpreting what happened there, but it's uh, it, it seems painfully obvious that the. Um, that that may have been a, a situation where that person knows that Putin doesn't like to be touched. And from what I could see, it looked like Putin, Trudeau touched him a, a, a few times. I, I thought the, the most, uh, the most Chad move out of the whole thing was he wasn't even looking at the guy. He was looking in the other direction when he put his hand up, he just knew that the guy was coming or he saw him out of the corner of his eye. Maybe he has that kind of peripheral vision where he can see his ears. All right, we got uh, everyone hit um, hit the likes on YouTube. There's like there's 144 watching on YouTube right now, and 43 likes. Help help a brother out. Uh, what do we got? Let's see. There's some other ones. Trudeau is, yeah, well, we know that, Chuck. <laughs> um, I'm humble enough to admit that I'm more of an observer than a creator, so I always take to cite and attribute the ideas I discuss. I'm hardcore, I'm buffering on X. Hold on, look at that. It pull up. Pull it up on X. Huh? It's working perfectly on my computer. Sorry. Uh, there we go. What we got? Okay, let me, let me catch back up here. Uh, Macron's creepy older wife accused of being a trans person was funny. He was quick to deny this. Remember the press telling us Putin is almost dead last year? I know. That's just... the They're... Propaganda is so bad. Thank you, FN based. F FN based. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, I see it. If things were, were uh, can someone post a video? Southern Nordic, lol. Glad to hear it. Hey, Pete, really enjoyed the zero to one episode. Navy Kip says, really enjoyed the zero to one readings. Thank you. Thank you. That's, uh, I have a Substack coming out looking at his, his takedown of Gawker from the book Conspiracy by Ryan Holiday. There's some really good points to be taken out of there as far as uh, power politics and corporate, just using power um, properly. Good afternoon, Pete. Bless Lord's Day for you. No Rumble broadcast this week. It's on Rumble, Taylor. It's on Rumble. It's up and it's up and running. I'm looking at it right now. Um. Enemies will know nothing and see the ignorance. What happened with him and over on entropy? Yeah, if you want to, if if you want to 
contribute to the cause, please go over to Entropy and do it. I'm signing back into Entropy right now because <sighs> Entropy always signs me out. It's just insane. <laughs> I'd do this whole thing over again. My apologies, my apologies. I know this is great live streaming. Watching the sausage get made. All right. Hey, Andy Baker. Uh, super chat over on uh, on Entropy. Enjoy the shekels. Thanks, Andy. I appreciate that. What do we got? What do we got? Uh... All right. Most recent P Putin Trudeau thing appearing on YouTube is from five months ago. No idea what y'all are talking about. Uh, check on my, um, here, let me pull it up. It's on my feed. Hold on. Yeah, let me. Okay. No, nobody's showing here. Nobody, I'm not outing anybody here. Okay. All right. Let me share this with y'all. Tell me what this looks like. Oh, I have to share it right there. All right, let me see. Let me let me blow this up, and you can tell me what you think it looks like. To me, it looks like. You see Trudeau tapping or putting his hands on Putin. The guy walks up to intervene, and Putin waves him off. And if you look at the guy's right hand, he has a fake hand. That looks like a fake arm, like a lot of the security guys do now, so they can keep a gun inside their... Uh... So that's what we're talking about here. Is everybody happy now? Am I wrong that while that Biden speech was sad and a little scary, it was also the thrashing and death throes of a truly dying regime, pitiful and pathetic? Absolutely. Absolutely. A roundup of Italian fascist thought. Hmm. Italian fascist thought. Gottfried's actually the man for that. Oh, uh, see. Got excited for a second, but no, you mean some Indian Karen. <laughs> hey, what's up? How you doing, Ernst Yager? Appreciate the hell out of you. Thank you. Thanks, Lunchbox. The absolute balls of the time. Now discussing bringing euthanasia to Ireland. Yeah, that's... Oh, man. Putin smelt the gay on him. Security looked like he was about to snatch Trudeau up. Hey, screwed up rebellion. Howdy. God bless you. That was also a defensive posture the SS used. Very thank you. Very thank you. Putin could have saved Canada. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, it does look like Trump in the background. Definitely a fake arm. Oh, okay, Vols persona. Sorry. I just I assume everyone here is like follows my Twitter feed, but I'm that's a terrible assumption. P Budapest is gonna read up what I Re up what I said on Twitter. The Bi that Biden speech sounded like it was written by a bitchy gay guy on a rant, and then recited by an amphetamine riddled geriatric faking gay personified. Um, Macron called Putin speaker phone, put him on speakerphone for reporters. Hmm. Biden was telling Blinken how he told Netanyahu we need to have a come to Jesus moment, and Blinken did not like that. As also Biden's handler told him that he was on a hot mic. Modern states are just lines drawn on a map. That's why Italian fascism is insufficient now. Yeah, I mean, it's without a culture. You know. A chimp out in St. Louis is pretty horrific. Lake and Riley, not Lincoln Riley. Come on, trash can Jack. You're doing that on purpose now. <laughs> Good afternoon, Tom. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Craig. 
Putin should have allowed the bodyguard to manhandle Trudeau. <laughs> Somebody on Twitter was like, oh, no, Putin should have taken done that himself. I'm like, Putin's done for th those days are over. It's better to better let someone else take out the trash for you. Oh, got some views on Twitter. Very cool. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I'm just said Trudeau can actually box. Really? I'd probably want to see him and see him try to go at Putin. I think that'd be hilarious. Putin just seems to be a, um, just a beast. Um, see the 308 AOK, -okay. Haiti collapsing as we speak. We need to prepare for the Haitian migrant boats that will inevitably be invading Gulf Coast shores soon. Well, I mean, we, I, I'm, I'm not near there, but I mean, well, people, I can't say what I want to say. Trudeau can't run. Trudeau is, of course, uh, corn pop, where are you when Biden needs you? <laughs> Trudeau can't box for shit. Tr Trudeau is unfamiliar with box. I increasingly feel like 2024 election is almost irrelevant. The boomers will be worked up, though. Uh, I, I don't. I, I think it's completely relevant for a lot of reasons. I don't know. It seems like Putin's bear riding days to find him. Bukele tweet off. Yeah, Bukele offered to clean up Haiti with a UN resolu with a UN resolution, um, and making sure he got paid. Trudeau is a master of movie. Space episode. Dire to Instagram said this week's episode of Martyr Made was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Even Biden would take Trudeau. Millet unleashing the troops in Argentina, tra channeling his inner Bukele. It's interesting. It's interesting to watch that happen. Heard via X that in Haiti, they have already resorted to eating people. They never stopped eating people. There's videos from two and three years ago on that were making the rounds on Instagram of them eating, eating human flesh. The Santos lives. What do I think of the platform? Will there be growth and will it stick around? I mean, I, the thing I like about rumble right now is, I mean, they have Owen Benjamin's on there. I mean, Stu Peters is on there. I was on Stu Peters show the other day and Stu is, I mean, it goes far beyond anything I say. So, I mean, if he's on there and and it's going forward, um, I, I think as far as from what I understand from people who've talked to the people at Rumble, if it stays or if it, um, as long as you're not doing it, advocating for anything illegal or planning anything illegal or saying anything illegal, it's fine. Yeah. What do I think about National Guard in New York City subways? A lot of people are saying there's something else going on because of the terrorist threats in Russia also. Um, I I mean, it's just one of those things where it's, isn't it interesting that the National Guard gets deployed to where, you know, the, the financial center you know, of the world, basically. But, I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I think, you know, it could just be all for show. Who knows? Between them not letting, I'm in between them not letting Trump win, win and stealing the election again. Yeah, Haiti is what happened when you make a deal with the devil. Justin Trudeau beat Patrick Brazo back in 2023 boxing match. I'm not sure how that happened. Probably the same way Putin scores like 12 goals whenever he plays in a game against professionals. What do I think about the recent backpedal on a TikTok ban from v v Vivek? Topic of discussion. Um, well, I mean, okay. 
it's been my opinion recently that the reason what these Silicon Valley guys who are all signaling against China are planning on doing is they're planning to attack China through their own cyber war. And what it tells me, if Rand Paul, Thomas Massey, Vivek, and Donald Trump are all saying we can't ban TikTok, TikTok, they, somebody in Silicon Valley or somebody who's friendly to one of those four guys already has control of TikTok from the inside. That's my guess. But they won't, they won't let, um, they wouldn't let that be known until they have power. That wouldn't be something that they, I mean, if they have a worm inside there, they could absolutely destroy TikTok or they're actually spying. It's a reverse kind of, uh, where TikTok's supposed to be spying on us, but they're actually doing it. They won't let us know that until they have power. So my hometown where I grew up went from old middle class white majority 10 years ago to cramming in Haitians at low cost apartments, which yeah, that's not good. I live in South Florida and I'm sure people are familiar with the population. Do I think they will make a final push for World War III to avoid the inevitable Trump win this fall? Some could. Some could. Remember, every 30 minutes on TikTok makes people 17% more anti-Semitic. I think the, I, I think the, you know, if you listen to Scott Adams, his greatest fear about allowing TikTok to exist is that it's poisoning American youth and um, especially poisoning them towards becoming trans. That may or not may not be true. I don't know. Prep the Haitian bull. <laughs> Donald Trump was hyping the COVID vaccines again and claiming they cure cancer on March seventh. There's no well. Isn't wasn't he just basically parroting something that like Biden was claiming a couple days before that? I'm not excusing that. Yeah, Trump, uh, yeah, apparently Trump, Rand Paul, Thomas Massey, and Vivek, all four people you think would be against TikTok are now, uh, would be for a TikTok ban are now against it. That lets me, that leads me to believe that there's something else going on. No, Trump can't do any, Trump can't do anything, but... The, it's not who, unless you have a true Caesar, it's the people around him. If Trump gets into power and there's any real change made, it won't be because of Trump. It will be because of the people around him. It would be who he surrounds himself with. That's why Project 2025 is probably the most important thing going right now. All right. If you want a super chat, please do it over on Entropy, Rumble, or Odyssey. Uh, that's just, I thought it was about money for TikTok with applying Luongo's theory that politicians actively trying to make the U.S. uninvestable. I, I don't think it has, I'm thinking it's a lot bigger than that. I'm thinking it's soft. I'm thinking it's something in the software itself. It's something in the program itself. Was Kennedy the last Caesar like figure? I mean, Nixon tried to be. I think FDR was the last Caesar. I mean, I think FDR, I think really you've, you only had three real Caesars in the United States. You had um, Andrew Jackson, Abraham Lincoln, and FDR. 
how do we bankrupt um, these people without bringing down the entire system? Is it even possible at this point? Uh, how do we bankrupt who? Hey, what's up, Bishel? There's a currency war going on between the EU and the U.S. That's why the USD is devaluing to cushion the fallout from Eurozone deflation. It's, it's Tom Luongo's theory. You, you, have to, you have to destroy the EU. You have to destroy, well, you have to destroy the EU, but you do that by destroying the, uh, the euro dollar. Uh, but, 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 but. isn't Newland's replacement a China specialist? Uh, yeah, but I mean, you, you have a better chance. I mean, you're not going to go hot. China's not going to go hot. Ukraine's already hot. Uh, well, the financial overlords right now, if you follow Tom Luongo, seem to be not working for us, but the way they are operating and trying to take down the European uh, the European bank, the European Central Bank, and the euro would help us in the long run. You don't see Trump winning Wisconsin, Michigan, or Pennsylvania? What was it about FDR? I mean, he basically had all sorts... I mean, he took... He, he became king. He had all the power in the world. He had wrote four times the amount of executive orders. And that's not just because he was in for four terms. I mean, he just knew, he knew how to use the power. Phil Gibson says you bankrupt them by destroying the Euro dollar, right? By replacing LIBOR with SOFR, which we have already done. China should just wait 10 years. America is collapsing unless something changes. No. Globalists don't control what our debt costs anymore. That's correct. When you got rid of LIBOR, globalists don't, don't, don't control debt. Globalists used to be able to control the interest rate on a credit card issued in an Oklahoma bank. They don't do that anymore. Now it's controlled here. America does a secure debt indexing rate based on real market activity, not the city of London. So if you want more information on that, I'm not going to do that. This isn't going to be a stream about LIBOR and so forth. Go listen to Gold Goats and Guns podcast. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Drudge Report. I, I I posted about that Drudge Report already. That um, Silicon Valley beer is right. It's funny, and Phil Gibson's right. Still, economics is always fake and gay. All you have to do is look who <laughs> look at the economists. <laughs> You see people speculating about Haley voters voting for Biden to get a blue wave. What we got in here? Da, da, da. Yeah. 199 watch 199 watching on youtube hit the like button please ellie voters are already dems what's my opinion of the all-in podcast i mean i think it's great that the episode they dropped this week great background on open what's going on with open ai great background on the whole tiktok debacle um even good information on apple's future the, the episode this week is 100% what, I mean, I, I think everyone should listen to it if you're interested in tech, what's going on in the tech world. And I mean, tech is the future. You have to know what, you have to be able to keep up with it. And All In is probably one of the best to do it. Um, Mike Solana's Pirate Wires is pretty good too. Hey, what's up, Brandon? How you doing? All right. Uh, okay. All right. Let me see. 35 minutes in. What do we want to talk about? Nikki Haley? I mean, 
there is a chance that Nikki Haley, I mean, I think she only suspended her campaign. So that would be the, um, Hey David, what's happening? God bless. Um, Nikki Haley only suspended her campaign. So if Trump gets thrown in jail or, you know, something worse, um, then, you know, she can jump back in and then they can replace, they can replace Biden with Hillary and you'll have Hillary Haley. I heard that courtesy of Tom Luongo. Uh, with Trump's inevitable win, the China TikTok propaganda is back in the news. Well, I mean, TikTok is a huge problem, and TikTok, TikTok needs to be destroyed or taken over. It needs to be destroyed, but I guess all in good time. Yeah. Yeah, Jerome Powell is one of the most competent friendlies in the regime. Trump is the only candidate left now, yeah. Brandon, economics faking it after the solar panel debate my community had this week. I think my voters agree. <laughs> Four years ago, the day before Super Tuesday, I went to the Biden rally in Dallas. It took a week to wash all the fat lesbian sweat off of my skin. Yeah, did you see the line for the uh, the Biden rally yesterday? I saw like 10 people. And I watched the Trump one from Rome, Georgia yesterday, and it was, um, and Mike Collins was there, actually. He's got this little, this, this weird, like, Mike Collins has this weird haircut where he looks like a, um, like a newsman from the 70s, but he also looks, has like a little bit of a mullet in the back. Absolutely amazing. Phil, you absolutely don't have to shill it, but my latest sub stack breaks down the fake gayness if anyone wants to learn. What the hell's the name of your sub stack again? You changed it, I think. I don't know what Bukele is. Kushner's talking to the ADL and tell them they need to be nice to Christians. I think one of the, the most important news you heard about Kushner in the last month is that if Trump gets elected, he will not be in the White House. Listening, Bowden, we need more people with good rhetoric. Yeah, Bowden was great. TikTok is a poison, but if it has usefulness, when Vivek and PM seem to think it does, it needed to be used for our advantage, yeah. El Salvador is, like, very, very Protestant. I mean, like, um, I, I hear that there is a big, big, like, um, what's the whole holy not holiness but uh pentecostal <laughs> here's the north here's the northeast there is the highest catholic population but it seems to be the most open to cultural i mean uh, social Italianism. Yeah, yeah, yesterday's was in Rome, Southern Nordic. Julio, you, Julio Hernandez has no idea what he's talking about. You, you, Jerome Powell is, Jerome Powell has done more to save this country from financial ruin in the last year and a half than anyone else done more to make it so that you're not paying $50 for a loaf of bread. That's for damn sure. Phil Gibbs, check out Phil Gibson's, um, sub stack for more information about Powell and all that. And of course, Tom Luongo, his, um, Phil sub stack is QPOL. He's at Mr. Sue M R P S E U on uh, Twitter. His, the link to his sub stacks in the bio. Andy, you, Andy, you're the most black pilled person I know. So I like, I don't really, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, man. I, you're, you're, just, you're, you're, I, I can't be around black pilled people anymore, man. You just think nothing good is ever going to happen. And then you just ignore Bukele and people like that.
I mean, I love you, man. You know, I love you, but you're the, the black pilledness. I can't, I can't do it. Man. Yeah. His father was an name. Bukele's father was born a Christian, became Muslim, became an Iman. I think he had like five or six wives at one point. I never got the hoopla over TikTok. So be spied on by the CCP or use IG and be spied on by the NSA. Yeah. Kushner telling the ADL to play ball makes me think that they know Trump is coming back and the PR is so bad for Israel that they need to keep the evangelicals in their corner. Gibson, a son of Gibbs. I have not yet seen Douglas McGregor's response to the State of the Union. I've been trying to avoid it. I mean, I've, I've been, I, I, I've been, I've been trying to avoid it. I've been putting it off. McGregor seems to be running a NGO that is a spinoff of the Birchers. Interesting, interesting. I'll check out the, I'll check it out then. Yeah, See, there's no way you can be black billed. It's just too, it's too much. It, there's too much good stuff going on. There's too much good stuff going on. All right, let me see. Man. Oh, we got, we got, um, oh. Um, Mr. PC Rose. Do you still think Paris is ground zero for shenanigans? Yeah, absolutely. What happened to YouTube chat? It's, it's there. Microsoft AI will take out itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Microsoft's AI. I mean, well, didn't they? They have Open AI, right? I'm. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, you got to be white pilled. I'm no military strategist, but it seems like Israel has really screwed up in Gaza, and that more than anything has contributed to them losing the PR war. Yeah, every country in the world hates them except for the United States. And uh... Julio, we're not we're not saying that he's we're not saying that he. I mean, he didn't even save the United States. He just he was able. What he did was able to kick the can down the road for a while. What I'm saying is I'm not going to counter signal anything that Jerome Powell is doing. I don't think I don't think Jerome Powell's my friend, but I don't think he's my enemy. Okay, you okay, you think Luongo is wrong. Okay, well, I I disagree. It's fine. It's fine. We can disagree. Yeah, being black pilled is like, I mean, what's that old thing? I mean, I know it's so retarded, but it's like hating. I mean, like having a seething hatred of someone else is like drinking poison and hoping that they'll die. Yeah. Flash says, the more I watch Owen, the more I despise Rogan. Do you think Trump will appear on JRE sometime in August or September to put him over the top? I mean, maybe, but I mean, it's the elections, man. He's got to get elected. And who knows if that can happen? Shenanigans. Okay, I get... Yeah, okay, thanks, Julio. Hope Springs Eternal, y'all. Yep. Yeah. Gotta have hope. All right. So over on uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, super chat. Okay, let's see what we got here. Australia Austrians complained when the interest rate was too low. Austrians are now complaining that the interest rate is too high. Well, we need a video called Peter Schiff wrong. Uh, 308 AOK super chat over on Rumble. Curious if you would characterize the 1930s and 40s fascists of Europe as a form of Christian nationalists. I feel too many people characterize them as atheists or heathens. Thoughts all the best. Uh, I mean, the the Falange in Spain were, I, I think they, 
they def they were Catholics, sure. Um, the British, I mean, German Germany was a totally different thing. I mean, you had Catholics, you had uh, you had you had Protestants, you had. Um, I mean, in, in in the Wehrmacht, you had Jews, um, <laughs> over one hundred fifty thousand of them, and. Uh, then you just had basically a lot of humanism. The um, the occultism is so overblown to the to the point where it's ridiculous. I wouldn't call Europe or and and Italy. Of course, you're going to have um, you're going to have Catholicism, uh, a lot of Catholics. Um, but I, yeah, I, I, you can't call. I, I mean, you can call the Carlist Christian nationalists, but I, I don't think you can call. 30s and 40s fascism, Christian nationalism. Uh, bah, 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 bah. What do we got here? Da, da, da. Bring on the JRE as the penultimate cultural move. <laughs> Phil, nonsense, Pete. Your pal is your pal. Embrace it. <laughs> pal is your pal. That's so funny. Rogan has sat 30 feet from Trump multiple times at UFC events. If Trump wants on, he'll be on. Yeah. Could these regime friendlies orchestrate an econ crisis at the most opportune time for the election to benefit Trump? I mean, they could, but I mean, that's going to hurt them too. I think the point of them, you know, the point of Powell trying to, the point of Powell just basically destroying the European you know, the European dollar, the, the Euro dollar and uh, the European Central Bank is to benefit them, to benefit himself and his people, to benefit Wall Street. Who would I pick for VP? Um, uh, J.D. Vance. I think J.D. Vance would be a good uh, a good choice. Oh, I didn't know that Zoomer Historian put out a, a series on the Spanish Civil War. Thank you. Thank you. I had a, Somebody was asking me about the Spanish Civil War. Earlier today, too. Cool. Yeah, Blake Masters would be good, but no, that wouldn't be. J.D. Vance would be. If Blake Masters had was was in elected office, that would make more sense. Brandon Schill says, too many pills. I just hunt the good stuff and enjoy a burger. Keeps me going for the next day. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've I've watched a bunch of Zoomer historians uh, videos on uh, on the mid century uh, the mid century events. Yeah, he's doing really well. Thoughts on Salazar? I don't know enough about Salazar, but I do love the fact that he was an autocrat and that he won. I mean, how bad could the guy be? He won every election by a hundred percent. Come on, hey, what's up, sticks of TNT? Seems like all the cases against Trump are suddenly imploding. Mark Elias said he won't get a fair shake in D.C., but it just feels like they're all coming apart at the seams. Well, I mean, there's if you have a competency crisis in every, I mean, it's going to affect politics, too. That's why I tell people, people are like, oh, my God, the Jays control everything and everything's falling apart. It's like, OK, that's that's a signal. That's a white pill. That's a white pill. The Salazar was very friendly with Franco. Yeah. Super chat over on Entropy from Thomas Handy. Thank you. Howdy. Hey. Hey, I appreciate that, Thomas. Thank you. you got any questions? Put them in there. Do you? Do I think there will be debates? If there's going to be a debate, it'll be one. Do I think RFK will be? No, RFK will not be allowed to participate. No third party will ever be allowed to participate in a debate again. Unless things change drastically. Guys doing work like Zoomer historian might do well to not appear on pods, though I wouldn't mind if he did. Yeah, yeah. I've asked Ash Logos to come on, and um, he says he's laying low. I understand completely. Captain K says Salazar was the most beloved leader in the 20th century of Portuguese pool. Portuguese pools year after his death, uh, polls after his death are to be believed. Yeah.
Pete Budapest says the the regime is so fragile. Cascade failure has always been kind of inevitable. That is a white pill, complete white pill. Andy, get in here. Come on, get these white pills, collect them, take them. You know, I love you, bro. Would Elias be deemed the competent regime at Baratchik or just an aggressive regime? Mm, I don't know. Top five pods to be in the know about power pl- about power plays? Well, all in, Tom Luongo, um, Eric Prince's pod. Might want to check that one out. Uh, it's called Off Leash with Eric Prince. You have to read between the lines with him. He... He sounds like a raging, raging neocon. But if you really listen to what he, I don't think he's stupid. I think he's putting messages out there that you definitely have to read between what he's saying. When he said that we needed to colonize Africa, I immediately knew what he meant by that. And if you don't understand China's work in Africa, you, you'll just think that you'll just hear what's on top. You have to really think about what they're saying. If China gets control of Africa, any kind of control of sub-Saharan Africa, you think there's migrants in Europe and and they want to send migrants to, you think there are a lot of migrants in Europe now? You, what do you think China, what would be the easiest way for China to destroy Europe and the United States? to start shipping them off to here. I didn't know that Eric Prince has gone on BAP. That's interesting. Okay, well, or apparently David Godomsky says he he already went on. That's good. Yeah, when you listen listen to what Eric Prince is saying, listen to the, the, when you listen to the countries, and if you listen to the context of what he's saying, he's not, what he's telling you to concentrate on should be very, very obvious what his, who he sees as the biggest problem in the world right now. Hmm. All right. Over on, over on Odyssey. Or on uh, Rumble. A professor told us that South Dakota was first state to open floodgates on usury, and this is why credit card companies are based there. Huh. I thought Delaware was, I guess, Del- well, it'd be Delaware and South Dakota, I guess, then, if that is true. I'm not, I can't confirm it or deny. I'm not saying it. He, he's lying. Hey, big brain content. What we got here? Boom, boom, boom. Pure Palm says, "Great episode. I really dig the engaging banker on the banter on these live streams. I think this format works really well in place." Your oh, thank you. Be anti is real fine, but caring about Palestinians, give me a break. Tweety Bird says, yeah, I've been following his podcast off leash. When you listen to it, Tweety Bird, doesn't it sound like the things that he's saying explicitly actually have an underlying message that have really little to do with what he's saying explicitly? Let's see some... Huh. I've had a lot of views on uh, on Twitter. That's nice. Two hundred and seven on YouTube, and come on, guys, hit the like button on YouTube. Just give me a little help. Yeah. What we got? Ba-ba-ba. I wasn't blackpilled until Vingal stopped recording. (laughs) What uh, Phil says, what are your thoughts on China's fragility? I get the demographic argument, but never bought it. Um, I mean, we know that China, if if you read David Stockman, we know that China has financially been 
um, unstable and fragile for for years now. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of, you know, it's one of those things is like, how long can they keep going? I mean, how many people thought that you know, the dollar would have crashed by, by now already? That's why making predictions is just so, I mean, if you want to make predictions, that's fine. But whenever I end up making predictions, I always end up looking stupid. Recently found out that Israel's largest export commodity is diamonds, despite them having no diamond mines. Maybe you should uh, study like, um, you know, South Africa, you know, who... Who were the families that went and, um, you know, basically took over all business in South Africa and other African nations? But, you know. Douglas Nate. <laughs> he says, every time I'm watching your stream, my son Caspian, that's a great name, walks into my office and says, it's the guy. QQR says, pro-Palestinian protests seem extra wacky. Is that purposeful to cast anti-Israel as wacky or something else? You know, that's that's a really good point. That's a really good point he's making over in Entropy Chat. If the pro-Palestinian protests seem just w wacky and stupid and just like you're, they turn people off and everything, is that meant to, you know, be like, make Israel look like the good one? You know, the good ones. Yeah, Cecil Rhodes is a good place to start. Thanks, Andy. I literally laughed out loud when I heard the first thing the leftists did in Spain was repeal the J ban, even though it was not even being enforced. Yeah. <sighs> it's the converso problem all over again, isn't it, Julio? <laughs> It was golems and shit. Cecil Rhodes, yeah. I'm going to talk to Richard Grove this week. What should I talk to Richard Grove about? Given China's moves in Africa, are we being forced to colonize again? Seems as though we're in no position right now to do that, given our current decay. Yeah, KJ, we need... Um, we need... A, first, we need a a foreign policy that isn't, you know, centered around fighting wars for, you know, fighting cold wars. Yeah, Taylor, that's been going back for a while. Oh, okay, cool. Then if, if that's true, then I'll have Richard, I'll have Richard talk about that. Thank you. Yeah, mindset always comes first, doesn't it, Julio? Ooh, Jerry coming in with with a hot take. Merciful fate, don't break the oath. Merciful fate, don't break the oath. What a great album! Uh, when I first started getting into thrash, that was like one one of the first albums I heard. Israel's biggest export is guilt. Yeah, a bunch of views on uh oh we got here some of the gals in the pro-palestinian protests look a little too typical uh. <laughs> all righty checking around see what y'all are doing over here so we got 46 watching on rumble 45 now and only hardly any likes killing me over here let's get this trending on rumble i think we did last week when everything was on rumble <laughs> and uh 22 watching on odyssey 211 on YouTube, 
and then entropy as 28 and it's hard to it doesn't say how many people are currently watching on twitter but it says 603 views so that's pretty good all right uh let's see can recommend Empire of Dust documentary following a Chinese guy trying to make stuff work in Africa funny and illuminating. Yeah, somebody recommended that. I got to write that down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rumble's broke today? I'm I'm watching it on Rumble, man. I'm on Rumble. Right, I'm looking at it right now. You could very well be getting raided by bots on Twitter. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. That is so weird. I, I don't know why that would be. I got 39 people watching right now, Iron Shirt, on, on Rumble. I don't think I can put the... um. Oh, there's... I just put the um Iron Shirt. Try the, um, try the Rumble... Um, link i just put in in the in the chat on youtube huge bus stop poster ft oh that's weird does it work if you use the link let me know couldn't find it on rumble and just got that is did i put it on my channel yeah it's on my oh no it's not on my channel it says 57 followers that's not that's my second channel well there's the um i put the link in there for you guys if you want to um if you want to go watch it on that channel sorry <sighs> see what happens when i try to do things at like 11 o'clock at night <laughs> yeah that's my bad sorry um, I'll, I'll have to see about the myth of 20th century guys. Just have to get lined up in different time zones and such. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Steven. Yeah. Pete's boomer tech regime. That's awesome. What are the chances of a Palestinian false flag event in the U.S. in order to gain support for, yeah, in order to gain support for Israel? Yeah, that is, um, yeah. Yeah, Blue Northwind says, uh, oh, let's see what we got here. Santa Mud says, when I was in high school, my ultra boomer civics teacher had a taped VHS of King Diamond's appearance on Araldo Rivera about Satanism as part of a lesson about freedom of religion. When King Diamond was on screen, the teacher said, This guy looks like Kiss. Do you guys know? Do you kids know Kiss? That's funny. That wouldn't have happened in my, in my Catholic school. I just switched over to Rumble for shits and giggles. Your stream isn't reflecting on my app either. Isn't Odyssey is playing great today though. Yeah. Last week I didn't have a last week. I wasn't on Odyssey. So. Ugh. Didn't Prince say he's on the board of CPAC now? I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't heard him say that. Iron sure said I, I just set up my business live stream for Rumble and noticed all sorts of weird things when setting it up. Yeah, it's yeah. Do I think things need to get as bad as they were in El Salvador for some for to get someone to step up? Man, I hope not. But you know, sometimes things have to get really, really, really bad. And people will say that it's really, really, really bad here for, you know, for the United States, for, for, you know, what we, sh I, I just find it hard to believe that we've put up with this until now. Does the media shift narrative on Israel, Palestine support before or after Trump gets elected? Huh. Hmm. That's a good question.
All right. Yeah, it looks like some some people went over to Rumble. I can't believe I went to the wrong channel. I'm 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 done. Still working on your latest readings, switching back and forth between camps of Camp of the Saints audiobook. Both great to listen to. Thank you. Thank you. Charles Haywood had a really good review of Camp of the Saints on his channel on uh, the Worthy House on his podcast and on his website. Is it safe to say that the Bush McCain Romney clan has been successfully ratted from the GOP RNC or is it still too early? I think there's genuine turnover. Yeah. I mean, I don't really see no one really takes them seriously anymore that it's more like, um, nostalgia. Now, if anybody talks about it, Bush and, you know, Megan McCain is the only reason Megan McCain on Twitter is the only reason anybody even thinks of John McCain anymore. Miami would have to get three times worse to be as bad as El Salvador is now, so there is still plenty of downside here. That's how bad El Salvador was. Wow. Sorry finishing off the coffee hey iron shirt <laughs> now you on rumble d train over on entropy am i familiar with richard poe's paper how the british invented communism and blamed it on the jews your thoughts on the narrative that the legacy british elites have played all sides um i heard him talking about it on tom luongo's podcast There's stuff that I'm told in private that I can't say because, I mean, I can say, I, I can't say who said it and everything, but what they said was that a lot of those, that yeah, London runs a lot. And I believe that run, London still runs a lot, but I also believe that a lot of London, a lot of the people in London are cryptos. If you know what I mean, I'm not talking about the currency. So. Yeah, if anybody wants to go listen to that, it's over two hours. Dark Enlightenment said it was absolute horseshit, and um, he's my buddy. And I, 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 I just, I, I know what they're behind as far as like definitely the cultural and the banking and everything, and foreign policy to one extent. But the bank, but there is something going on with. legacy banking european banking that i don't think that they control i don't think they control the wef i don't think they i think there's some wars happening i agree with dark enlightenment 90 like 90 like a 90 percent of what they control there might be 10 percent there and i think that 10 percent is kind of important is the u.s airdropping supplies to gaza and attempt to keep the democrat coalition from splintering maybe i i don't um, who was the tech podcast i recommended all in and um mike solano from pirate wires those are two good ones um i don't know i don't know if that's if that's the goal i i don't know i just think that I think a lot of people, once you get past the boomers, a lot of people are just sick of the Israel crap. Richard is great, but he his take on Prince seems off. Eric Prince? Or who, who are we talking about? He thinks he's British Empire? Yeah, I, I don't think he is. Eric Prince converted to Catholicism has like 10 kids now. That's not typical for, for the Brits. Yeah, that's, but that, but the colonized South Africa has to do with China. It doesn't have to do with Africans. Well, it does have to do with Africans, but it has more to do with China. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. What do I think was the pivot point for a lot of the PayPal mafia types and nascent counter elites? Seems like it really took off 2022. Yeah, I think a lot of it had to do with the um, the way crime got out of control in San Francisco. And I think the... Um, competency crisis. And these are people that care more about competency than they do about nepotism. I mean, they do have their circle. They call it a mafia, but it's not... Um, it's not based on ethnicity. It's based on competency, even though you have, you'll find people from the same ethnicity in there and everything, but that's, that has nothing to do with that. Well, what are my thoughts on Mark Robinson, the black Republican running for governor in North Carolina? I mean, just, I want to see him and I, I want to see him as governor. I want to see, mostly I want to see if he's going to like, if he got elected governor, whether he'd curb his message or not. I think it was 2022. That seems to be when Sachs was outspoken against the regime for their clown vid policies. Yeah. Yeah. Sachs has done a very, um, when you look at his whole, his journey, his journey is interesting. (laughs) Yeah. Mark Robinson is wild, man. All right. We got, Rumble's working fine. Stop being boomers. Yeah, it's just on the wrong channel. Said um, Blue Northwind says, just verified what I always thought about my boomer dad. Asked him if he plans to leave anything to his kids for generational wealth and got a flat out nope. Hope my brothers are ready to get themselves together. Yeah. Yeah. Am I willing to share any future topics Thomas and I are covering? We haven't, we, ju- we've, we, we, rec- in a couple hours in, um, in an hour and 15 minutes, the last episode of, of the Balkans will drop. Uh, we may do a, a supplemental episode to that, um, from a, from a Bosnian, pers- uh, from a, um, a Serbian perspective, um, get someone on to talk about that. But as far as what we're going to talk about next, we have not discussed that now. And he's going to be out of town from the 14th to the 17th. So we have time to think about it. D-Train, another super chat. Thanks for all you do. I appreciate it. Thank you, D-Train. Really do. (laughs) Stop being boomers. That's so great. Yeah, Eric Prince. Um, I have to scroll back up and see what you were saying about Prince. I can't remember. Too many, too many comments. You have to type it again, Phil. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Let's see what we got here. Thoughts on the Knights of Columbus trying to get involved. My brother's Knights of Columbus loves it. I'd probably be Knights of Columbus, but the closest one is just way too far from here. One of the disadvantages of uh, living where I do. Eric Prince is of Dutch descent. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Prince is not a. Um, I don't think he's pro. He considers himself to be waspy Protestant. sorry mark robinson is like a guy who watched a sam hyde rant and stripped out all the irony <laughs> that's a good one pete budapest but um da, da, da. way more robinson signs this uh vingal prince died years ago yeah yeah prince Eric Prince converted to Catholicism and had a ton of kids. Concerned Canadian says the ads they insert into my podcast in Canada are hilarious. Tons of CBC propaganda. <laughs> What's funny is someone was telling me that they're like, oh, there's a vaccine ad in your in one of your episodes, one of your old episodes. And I'm like, all right, let me check this out. It was actually baked in from previous insert ads i had so i just 
download it real quick, took out the ad, put it back up. I'm sure T777 has some interesting takes on the counter elite, perhaps the CFR, if that's kosher. Well, um, I know Thomas isn't going to go shitting on the CFR. I don't blame him one bit. What we got here? Uh, it's working fine. It's just on the wrong channel. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? 4.15. Man, I'm starting to get hunger. Anyway, say what you will about Prince, but Purple Rain Live in Syracuse 1985 is glorious, can't be denied. And it's such a great guitar player, too. I mean, his guitar playing was friggin' phenomenal. All right. Uh, I get Wonderkin ads. I don't even know what Wonderkin is. Is that a um, cyber stock worthy images that grab? Is that what that is? The new boomer con cope is, well, if people just moved out into the middle of nowhere and worked at low paying pointless jobs, they can make it, you know, just like I didn't do. <laughs> Boomers are saying that? Or are you just, oh, I don't get that. Oh, thank you, Jerry. I like hanging out with you guys. It's always fun when we get a troll too, isn't it? No trolls today. Honest conversations. Speaking of Silicon Valley and the history of the West, it's crazy how much involvement 2% of the population had in it. Yeah. All right. All right. Anybody got any more questions? Let me know. Get them in because I'm going to get I'm going to get moving. Um, who knows? They'll say anything to avoid introspection, a possibility that they did anything wrong. And yeah, cover that on episode 995. This is the most interactive live stream I've ever taken. Oh, thank you. Pete Budapest says, yeah, I got into an online argument with a boomer bright bar writer this week, like talking to a wall. Yeah, there we... I, just, I mean, you, you, you're you're going to get a better take from a wall, which is nothing. I'd rather get nothing. Austin says I was, Pete was on Stu Peters. Stu Peters been on fire lately. I was on Stu Peters on uh Friday. Did a 15 minute segment segment with him on what books they burned. I'm late, was talking to some Mormon dudes that came by, really nice lads, Pepper, pep, pepperoni. Yeah, they, they are, they're very nice. <laughs> Seriously, guys, their wealth will rot. Go find a piece of Eden and get the fuck out of cities. If, yep, I 100% agree with that. At least the wall can talk back. Yeah, I was on, I was on Stu Peters. It's the lead-based paint, also known as lead-based boomer. That's a good one, Henny. Ah, oh, the chat disappeared on Twitter. Oh. Let's see what we got here. Done. Canadians should check out Raging Dissident Ferryman's Toll. Thank you, Trash Can Jack. <laughs> SP, you're smart in real life. Me too. I think. I don't know. Faux reels. Twitter refugees incoming. 
Potato Mutt says, I have friends and family involved with both, both Knights of Columbus and the Ancient Order of Hi Hibernians. Ironically, the AOH is more strict with the Catholic stuff. Knights of Columbus is more of an excuse to go drinking at the clubhouse. Why not both? <laughs> I'd be shocked if the handle lead-based boomer isn't taken. <laughs> Salk's polio vaccine. Uh, let me see. And more. Ba, ba, ba. Let's see. Did I see millennial GOP Hill staffers yelling at pro-Palestine protesters to get a job? Why are millennial cons so gay? Uh, thank you, Screwed Up Rebellion. Appreciate that. God bless you. Highly recommend the book News from Germany, The Competitions to Control World Communications, 1900-1945 by Heidi J.S. Torwick. Huh. I put that no no huh Twarik news from Germany all right um uh, back to the let's go looking forward to the zero to one reading going back through part two today off the track it was such a good idea for a series on the channel one of my favorite things on YouTube thank you appreciate that Heard of James' top story here in Canada, walked across the whole damn... No, that sounds retarded. No, why would he do that? It's a big country. It's huge. Why the hell would someone do that? All right. I'm going to wrap up here then. Uh, thank you all for stopping by. Um, more episodes coming out this week. Got a got a good one where we're going to talk about um, just might be a black pilling episode, but um, but also this week, Aaron will be back from Timeline Earth and we'll be reading. Enjoy it. What would be the best AI voice to have read the audio of Zero to One? Um, the former CEO of Gawker. <laughs> Military hunt. Had to stand out. All right, take care.